Yes, three goals, young man. Well done to you. You're going to get the match ball, the plaudits. And uh, he was the guy who was dancing around, getting off the bus, actually. So there you, there you have it. A bit of sunshine in a bag. Put a bit of sunshine in your kit bag. Doesn't harm it, does it? Well, nice shot from outside the box. Zambia need to have produced a little bit more of that uh, during this game. It looks like this fella was the one who pulled it off. Raleigh Boalia. Corner comes in. Goalkeeper comes out and misses it. Twice he's missed a corner. Kesey, he's got to work on that. He's not wasting time. They're five one up. They've won the game. Give him a minute. Oh, look at that. So he came running out. I guess it's when he landed funnily there that he got his cramp or whatever it is. And as Tyrone Joe Sandows. Tyrone Joe Sandows, what a great name. He has Tyrone. County Tyrone being my place of birth in Northern Ireland. For anyone who gives uh, two hoots. And Demi McCall, you're watching Sport 5. And uh, heads in hands for certain people. There's a lot of sob stories at these tournaments. World Cup finals, 31 teams go home. Telling sob stories about how it all went horribly wrong. That was slightly harsh of the goal of the, um, of the referee there on the goalkeeper. He was 5-1, he's not wasting time. He doesn't think the other guys are gonna score four goals and have them. Something happened to his leg. Here we got booked. For the record, two minutes of time added on here. With South Africa looking, heading towards the third place, they've no chance of qualifying. It's a shame. <coughs> Sorry. It's a shame because they look pretty slick now, and sometimes you warm up into these tournaments, and they really look like a team that were worthy of their place in these finals, South Africa. Five goals they've scored here, and they've all been good. Great finishing. Bodes well for South Africa in the future. If uh, Even if they didn't make it into the final four. Kizzi, to watch his corners. Got caught with that horrible corner for the one apiece. We completely missed it. He's horrified number two behind him. Could do nothing but see the ball bounce off his head and bulge into the back of the net for the equaliser. Anyway... The forwards did the business. Sandoz first and foremost. But uh, Zuma, hats off to Zuma too, because he really did. There's Sandoz on, in the picture. Quite a character. Tyrone Sandoz. Hats off to him for his hat trick. And uh, of course, the other boy we were talking about, the number nine, Dumisani Zuma. with his two goals. Almost lost track of them going there. They came in so thick and fast. There have been uh, four goals in the second half. First one coming on the 57th, uh, 60th, 67th and 86th. Sandows to Zuma to make it 3-1. Sandows with a side foot on the 67th. And Sandows there again with that lovely shot. Great save. And Mr. Goal reading that off is 2-1. Sorry, 
sorry, 5-2. Second goal for... Second goal then for... Zambia, and from the kickoff, it's all over. So, 5-2, the final score here in Dakar. Because he can't believe he finally got beaten, but he did get beaten a second time. Never mind, 5-2, and a good win, a good performance for South Africa. And uh, you're going home to hard lines to Zambia. Neither of these two teams will be going to New Zealand for the 2015 Under-20s World Cup. But maybe we'll see one of these two sides, or some of these players at least. There are always people who emerge from these tournaments to become fully-fledged, established stars in the global game. I wonder if this man will be one of them, Tyrone Sandows. Three goals from him this afternoon. 5-2 the win for South Africa. Match day three in Group B. South Africa and Zambia, however, 5-2 the score. Both sides eliminated with uh, Mali and Ghana still playing in the other match. It's 1-0, however, for Mali. They're in time added on for injuries. Both going into... The semi-finals, Mali and Ghana. And as it stands, Mali will be taking on Senegal in the semi-final. And the other semi-final between Nigeria and Ghana. Just watching the closing stages of that game, the other game.